We're going to tell it to heal here. Going to continue exploring down here with my scout to kind of find out if there's anything worthwhile here as far as expanding is concerned. And yeah, obviously. And that is why you want to go for honor because it lets your scout pull off something like this. An even battle against a uh, brood, which is not easy to do. So let's see, let's keep exploring. Nothing amazing. So I do have access to those deer. Now I'm getting three food from here, so my sea is going to grow even faster, but I do need to start working on my luxury resources. So I am going to uh, move my worker here and get that. Warrior is going to continue healing. And so my scout here is going to heal for a bit, just because it is in a bit of a problem. And I am going to tell this warrior to just stay on alert. And finally, I'm going to get a camp here, which will give me bonus gold. And it will uh, give me my first luxury resource, because right now my population is kind of uh, running away. It's getting a little out of, out of hand. It's at almost at 5, and I'm not even at turn uh, 30 yet. So it's very... I mean, Washington is going very quickly. It will need those two luxury resources fairly soon. And so I won't need to build a granary uh, right away. I will probably be able to build my settler and then other buildings without too many problems. Um, and now my warrior is healed, so I will move it down here. And there we go. The barbarians are kind of moving out, and I'm catching them in open terrain. This is what you want to do. You want to be uh, kind of waiting in, waiting in, laying in wait for your opponent to make a move. You want to wait on top of a hill or in a forest. And then when they make their move and they're in open terrain like this, just attack them. Take them by surprise. Take them when they're at their weakest and take them out. Alright, so I do have pottery. Gonna move back here. Again, this warrior is just defending. It's just waiting for someone to show up here and then attacking them. Because knowing this camp is in a very bad spot, it's very far away and it has to move through all this open terrain here. So it is not worth killing it. Well, yeah, it'll give me some gold, but it's not going to... If, if there's a camp that spawns very, very close, like here, this is going to be a lot harder to defend against because this is all open terrain. So I don't mind letting my warriors stay here and just uh, finish off the uh, barbarians as they come close. And so I have pottery. I could go for sailing and then calendar. Uh, sailing will help me grow faster and it will let me explore a little better. I am fine in terms of food, so I'm going to go for calendar first so I can get access to the silk. And then uh, since I'm kind of planning on getting my uh, second city very soon, I will need access to that second luxury resource. I'm kind of thinking of moving down here for my uh, first expansion because if you look here... There's some silk, some ivory. I have access to those already, but still, it's good to have access to them. I have a lake, which is pretty badass, because all those uh, hills over here means that they can uh, have farms built on top of them. So uh, that is a good news. I'm going to put this wire on alert. Going to move a little bit south here to kind of have a look at this. And I'm going to continue moving over here get some gold from the city-states because now that there's a second uh, brute spawning here it would have gone for my uh for my scout and i want to keep that scout alive that scout's the only unit that i have exploring right now so it's very important to keep it alive and as you can tell i have now it's taking me a while now to get to my sixth population which is not bad i mean five is a uh, at this point in time is a very big city for uh, turn 32 it's a very big city and my happiness is kind of dipping because of that because i don't have access to my uh, luxury resource quite yet so that it's going to take 50 is not a big deal at the start of the game like this and now I'm going to see if those runes... Now somebody took those runes. Bad Japanese, bad. And going to keep exploring. So there's some whales here with uh, next to Kuala Lumpur. I don't have access to those whales. So it might not be a bad idea to uh, get friendly with Kuala Lumpur just to get access to those later on. So let's see. Going to fortify my warrior here. Kind of try to see if I can catch them by surprise. Going to explore here. And I will be trespassing in Kuala Lumpur's territory, which is not a big deal. It's only six influence per turn at the start of the game. I'm not looking to become their friend quite yet. So I'll be able to get an influence back over time fairly soon. It will not be a problem. And now I am knowing for... I'm kind of exploring this place here and I know for sure what's down there. So I'm going to move my 
archer down here. And now I have access to this uh, ivory, so I'm getting some bonus, um, some bonus happiness, and this tile is generating a lot of gold. So right now the uh, the question is, what do I explore next? I and it's going to take me 17 turns to get my next tile. I don't want to do that. I'm going to just buy this tile right now to get the bonus food, and so I can improve it right away. And it will uh, put me a little closer to this gra these grasslands here, which is always good to have. And as I'm playing as the Americans, it's very cheap for me to buy tiles, so I don't worry too much. I am going to work on my settler now, obviously, because it is time to expand. Sure, they're close to me, you're far away. I am going to work against the Babylonians, I guess. And ooh, this is bad. This is bad, but at least there's a river kind of protecting me. The brute will not be able to attack my scout right away. Ooh. Or maybe those will, but I'll run away and I will meet Tyre. There we go. And... Barbarian sneak attack! That's always what you want to do. You want to wait until the Barbarians make their move like this and then you just want to jack them. Alright, and I'm going to start working on killing this camp because I will be moving down here for my first city. I'll be moving kind of towards the Babylonians, kind of stealing this land away from them, which is always a good idea. Now I'm going to move here. Don't need to take the promotion quite yet. This is extremely annoying. I hate having to deal with early naval units. So yeah, this is just a bad starting position. And there we go, the camp is wide open. I am going to move my warrior in. I'm going to keep exploring with the scout though. And this is going to give me 25 gold. It is going to clear this place here. And so I'm probably going to build here, I think. I'll have access to the wheat, to the cattle, to the ivory eventually, and then over here to the silk and the cattle. And this is going to be one, two, three, four tiles away from Washington, which is just fine. It's the kind of distance that I like to go for. I don't like to go for three or two. Three is okay. Two is much too close. And I don't like to go for five or uh, six, which is very far away. And so now I know that there's no there's one encampment over there, but it's just too far away. They're going to attack Hanoi or Kuala Lumpur. I don't need to worry about them. There might be some down here. I'm actually going to do some ghetto exploring with my archer here, since I do want to get a lot more info. And now that I have calendar, I'm going to go for sailing, because it means that I have access to the silk right now. And as you can tell, I've already got access to the silk. I didn't even need to build an improvement, because Washington is built directly on top of the resources, so as soon as I have the tech, it get access to the larger resource, which is good news. And now I have improved the wheat. So let's continue moving to the with the archer over there. The archer can uh, take care of itself if it ever has to deal with some barbarians. And now I'm going to build a plantation here. Sure, why not? And that stupid gal is really annoying. That's why I want to get sailing so I can get a workboat out, get access to the fish, and then get a trireme out and kind of defend this spot here, which is pretty good. And I have access to my second policy. Now, at this point, if there was a second city that was close by, I would have by now horsemen. I would be looking to move out, and so I would want to have either a great general or I would want to have discipline for the 15% combat strength bonus. The Babylonians are still a little far away. I'm not going to move against them right away, so I do not need to get discipline right away. I do not need to get warrior code either, so I could get liberty, which I'm not a huge fan of. Collective rule is not that good. Republic, representation is not, but neither of these is amazing. Meritocracy is okay. It's bonus happiness, and citizenship is pretty good, especially if you don't have the uh, pyramids. Pyramids is the same thing as this, except it's 50%, so it's... Uh, not bad. So I could go for liberty and then eventually citizenship and meritocracy, or I could unlock tradition, which would give me bonus food in my capital. My capital is fairly funny in terms of food. It will have two fish 
uh, resources nearby and it's got you know my workers are improving it so it's not a big deal I don't have marble nearby so stacking it with the aristocracy is not a um, is not a uh, an option oligarchy is not necessarily legalism maybe once I get my uh, once I get my uh, capital bigger it might be interesting for now, I think I will just go for liberty and then uh, go for citizenship and meritocracy, which will help a lot. And now my settler is going to come out just a li that little bit faster. And I'm actually going to heal my scout here so I don't lose it. Going to build a plantation here. Going to continue exploring with my scout, uh, with my uh, archer. Because there is kind of some terrain around here that I do want to have a look at. Some more barbarians that I can fight off. And there we go. That's why honor is so good. It lets me know that right now there's an encampment here that I'm going to have to take care of. So I just got my settler out. I will need to uh, build something else to defend against it. I will probably just build a second archer. I could go for Stonehenge since I did have access to calendar fairly early, but it's going to take 15 turn, 14 turns. And, you know, the monument is going to help with my culture eventually. I don't need to go for Stonehenge, although I do like it very much. But for now, I need to defend. I need to keep expanding, especially since my starting position is not that good. And I am going to try to go for some more uh, uh, cities. And I'm going to move down here. Now this warrior is just seeing the trireme over here, which is very annoying. I'm going to pelt those barbarians from afar. And there is a worker here in the camp, which means that they stole this worker from someone else, possibly from Warsaw, possibly from the Babylonians. But if I can uh, get this encampment and get the warrior, the worker back, I could make friends with Warsaw, which would give me perhaps uh, perhaps access to whales and then perhaps uh, some bonus culture, which would be really good. And if this worker belongs to uh, Babylon, then I'll just get on, the ba on better terms with them, which is not bad. And might be able to trade some gems for some of my uh, silk. I have two silk they have two gems we might have uh, some a trade on our hands fairly soon so let's see let's finish up those kind of have to be careful to not let this settler be attacked by the uh, barbarians that spawn from this encampment here. But since it just spawned, it's not going to attack. The brute is going to stay in the encampment to defend it. And it's going to take a few turns for the first brute to come out. And it will not attack me before I get this archer out. So I am still feeling pretty safe. And now with this archer going to take over this encampment... It's going to give me some more gold, which I'll be able to uh, buy some tiles nearby. And uh, maybe even buy a... Actually, might not be a bad idea to just buy the monument. I do have quite a bit of gold, and the bonus culture is going to let me get access to the horses and to the gold and to all those uh, bonus resources that I have around. So I think I'll just buy the monument right now since I do have the gold for it. And I'm not looking to purchase tiles quite yet. And so you do want to use that gold early to kind of... You don't want to put it to use. Because if you just accumulate it, it's not going to do anything for you. It's just going to, to sit there in your treasury, not going to be put to use. So you do want to buy stuff early and, and make use of that gold. And so, there we go. I am in position to build my first city here. I'm going to keep exploring with my scout. And there we go. They are, the barbarians are moving. I'm going to keep this warrior on alert because I want them to move into open train before I attack them. There's no rush. And now I um, could either go, let's see, don't need optics quite yet, although this will give me even more food in those uh, tiles up here. Bronze working would be nice, even though there's no jungle. I'm going to go for masonry because there's some marshes down here that I'm going to need to clear fairly soon. And the wheel... Actually, I am building my city. I will need to build a road. I'll go for the wheel first and then either masonry or writing to build a library. Oh. 